Today's video is a little bit different. It's about something near and dear to my heart, the closing of the North Glenmore Park Disc Golf Course in Calgary. Oh, for the win! For the win! There's still a lot of holes to go, buddy. Oh, it's only the fourth hole. <laughs> Welcome to Sweller Van Dweller. The course was created in 2021 in response to restrictions brought on by an event which we are all familiar with, but which I can't name because my video will get censored. So what exactly is this disc golf? Well, it's a lot like traditional golf, but instead of using clubs to shoot a ball into a hole and costing upwards of $100 a round, in disc golf, you throw discs at a target Usually a metal basket with chains oh, Ryan. or a post wrapped in metal that makes a distinctive tone when you hit it. And disc golf is most often free. Disc golf is everything that modern societies seem to aspire to. It's inclusive and accessible to all. I'm going to throw the mid -range I don't know, we should have baby. a lot of last minute switch to a secret yeah, uh, loaded out, disc. Pulling out an illegal disc. Hopefully you don't ask for a disc measurement. <laughs> I did not get the curve I wanted on that one at all. Hi, I'm a resident in Lakeview and I think the North Glenmore Disc Golf is an amazing course. It's my first experience with disc golf, but a friend of mine who got back from the Nationals in PEI took me disc golfing and it's a really great sport. And then I hear stories like school buses stopping and entire gym classes coming out and playing disc golf here. I think that's a wonderful opportunity and it's really sad. Of course so. Yeah, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> See what you got. No, you were back there. Straight over the fairway. Oh no, that was bad. Oh! Hit him! Hit him! I can see it coming! Having a good round? It doesn't sound like it if these are par threes. <laughs> I walk through here every day and I've never seen anything untowards. It's always very positive. How do you feel that how do you feel that you don't have any sponsorships at all? I don't yeah, give a it's the second way. Way. This guy's here, this guy's ahead of me now. What? Can you believe this? Have you ever stopped smiling this entire round? Oh probably, yeah. Just just when I point the camera at you. <laughs> Not good. And it's I know what Tiger feels. It's life. When you have a tough day. Mine. That one's mine. <laughs> what? Where's mine? Get closer. Oh, I'm that one here. Yes. This one. Oh. First time ever somebody wants to take the furthest disc. <laughs> For me, it's yeah. it's an obvious thing that we need to keep this disc golf course. Yeah. So as a resident, you're in favor of it. Hugely. I'd say you read about his, his ace, eh? What? A baker? No, no I didn't. Yeah. Why are you bragging me up? Oh, it's impressive. To get Somebody's got to do it. That's a that's worth even if it's you, Mark. I'm still willing to say, yeah, that was good. <laughs> it's just made it more open for people to use the park, especially year round. Like the winter use of the park has really increased. Yeah. First flight, the young gun Jesse. Okay, pepperoni. A cracker sandwich. How was your game? No comment. No comment. It sucked. <laughs> Big time. How was your game? Jeez. Oh, it was perfect. I got a birdie. Light winds or heavy winds? How was your game? Right where the food is. Good. Oh, actually, oh, what? Oh, yeah. This is all great. This is all great. Fun. This is all yeah. great. And how was your game? I need some improvement. How was the company? Awesome. Awesome. How was your game? Good. Good. Oh, yeah? I did better than I thought. Yeah. Better than you thought. 13, I think I got. All right. You're yeah. still smiling. Wow. Yeah. All right. Now, at the end of October 2022, the course is slated to be decommissioned and closed because it would seem the event I alluded to earlier in the video that prompted the creation of this course to offer people additional opportunities for outdoor activity during times of restriction, well, is over and the course is no longer required. Really? If you don't think I'm just some sort of crazy lunatic, then I'd be humble if you would subscribe to my channel because it's the only way you can support me 
and let me know you like what I'm doing and you want me to continue. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.